Hey beauties, so today I'm gonna be reviewing the Weekend Warrior Palette by ColourPop and Amanda Steele. And I really love this, I think it's very unique, it's different, but if you guys want my full review, then please watch till the end of the video. So I was sent the palette along with the three lipsticks that come with the collab. I actually never tried the ColourPop Press Shadows, this is the first time, so you guys will see how they work on my eyes in action and see how I created this look. I love this look because this is a look you could wear on date night, you could wear this for dinner, if you're going out on a date, if you are like me and you just wear smoky eyes, any chance you can get. I feel like this is a really cool look because it's not your typical smoky eye. It's a teal and almost like a dark blue smoky eye. So it's different. It's very unique and that's what I really liked about this palette. I feel like this palette is overall very unique. So you guys will see how it works on me and you'll see all of these swatches of the lipsticks. I really love these as well. I think that the glossy lip so pretty i have on hack i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and review of the amanda Steele collab and ColourPop did send me these products but they are not sponsoring this video i'm just wanting to really review these products for you guys because i've never tried the pressed shadows before i've never tried the glossy lip so i really wanted to use these products and create a look and show you guys how it comes out so if you guys like this video don't forget to like it subscribe and share and don't forget to hit the bell button so you can turn on my notifications so you don't miss any videos from me and if you guys would like to know how to get this look that I have on right here, then please continue on watching. So I'm first gonna apply some concealer to my eyelids just to prime so the shadows really show up and stay on all day long. And I usually do this with every look that I really want to last. So if I'm going out all day and I really want the shadows to stay, I always usually use like a concealer. So I'm first gonna pick up the shade Burnout and this looks like a really like grayish taupey color. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna pop this in the crease. I feel like with this palette, you're gonna get a lot of smoky looks, but that's about it. I don't mind that though because I love smoky looks and smoky looks are primarily what I wear every single day. So I definitely don't mind that. And I'm just popping that shade right into the crease of my eye. Just kind of circling it around. This is a really interesting color. It's kind of like a purpley gray different. I like it. I really like this color a lot. So different and unique. And so far, the consistency of the shadow itself, I found it to be very pigmented and it's blending really nicely. They're very buttery shadows. So I'm just going to keep circling that color around my eye. I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line as well. I'm just wrapping the shade around my eye for a really smoky look. And this is a really pretty smoky color. It's it's odd because I haven't tried colors like this before. It's a smoky color, but it's not really dark. It's almost like a purpley gray. So now I'm gonna take the teal, and this one is called Harley, and I'm gonna pop this onto the lid. I really like the shade because I feel like with smoky eyes, I think of black, but now that I've tried something a little different, like I like this blue, it's almost like, it's just as nice, but it's a different shade. Instead of using black for a smoky eye, you could use blue, and I just really like these colors. I think they're very unique. And because they're cool toned, it's definitely something different for me, so I really like them. Now I'm just blending a little bit of the shade Burnout around Harley. So now I'm gonna go in again with Harley on the lower lash line. So I'm taking some more of the shade Burnout, and I'm just going around where I laid down Harley, which was kind of just all around my eye. I'm basically just smoking this whole look out with these shades. So now I'm gonna pick up the shade Chopper, and this is like the highlight shade in the palette. And I'm gonna use this for my brow bone and also the inner corner. Ooh, this is really pretty. It kind of has like a really light shimmer to it. I always feel like the brow bone highlight ties the entire look together. And I'm also just gonna pop it right in the inner corner. I'm just bringing the shade Chopper a little bit closer to the lid. I feel like this palette would look so pretty on someone with blue eyes or if you have green eyes or even like hazel. I don't feel like it makes my eyes pop, but I do think it's still really pretty, but I feel like it would be beautiful on someone with blue eyes. So next I'm going to take the shade Throttle, which is the darkest color, and I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm adding in some black liner just to the waterline to make it really smoky. And I just feel like this completes a smoky look. You just need black on your waterline. I'm also gonna add a little bit to the lash line. And now I'm just taking the darkest shade throttle and going over the liner. So now I'm applying the Coco Goddess Lashes and I just love these with any look pretty much. So they look really nice with something smoky. And whenever I put on my lashes, there's always little spaces, always. So I always go in with some mascara. And I just kind of touch those little areas and it fills them in. And it really blends my natural lashes into the false ones. All right, so Amanda has three lipsticks with ColourPop and one of them is an ultra glossy lip in the shade Hack. 
And I feel like this one will be my favorite just because I love glossy lips and I think this is such a pretty color. Really nice for every day. Overall, I just, I'm a big fan of glosses. The next one is an ultra satin lip and I also really love ColourPop's ultra satin lips just because they're not really drying. They feel really good on your lips. And this is in the shade Jiffy. This is a really pretty pale nude. So we'll see how this looks. I'm not really sure about it yet, but I know that I really love the formula of the Ultra Satin Lips. They're probably my favorite. The last one is an Ultra Matte Lip, and I do have a few of these by ColourPop, and I really like them, but I usually go for the satin one because this feels so good on the lips, and I just, I love the finish of it. It's a little bit more moisturizing. It appears to be more moisturizing on the lips. It just looks a little bit softer, and this is a little bit more drying. But everybody has their preferences, which I think is really cool because you can kind of decide what you like when it comes to her collab. So we're gonna start with the nude. This is Jiffy, really pretty. And I'm not gonna line my lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill them in. Ooh, I really like this already. Such a pretty color. So I absolutely love this color. I don't even wanna take it off because I love it so much. This is like the perfect everyday color and it feels amazing. These don't dry down to a matte. They do transfer a little tiny bit, but they definitely get a little bit more dry than what they are when you first apply them. And this is my favorite formula by ColourPop. I just, I love the ultra satin lip and I love this color. So, okay, this is really nice. I love it. I hate nude lipsticks that are just so, so pale that they kind of wash you out. And this one is just the perfect nude. It's like your lips, but better. Not too pink, not too nude, not too brown. It's just like the perfect in between. And these ultra satin lips, they remove pretty easily. They don't like, they're not super hard to take off. I'm just using like regular makeup remover to remove them. So I'm gonna try on the purple one now and this is an ultra matte lip in Chaps. So it's probably no surprise that I love this one. I love dark lips. Dark purples, dark reds, dark any shade. I just love, and I love this color. It's so unique. I will definitely be wearing this color. This is my favorite so far, love it. This one's a little bit harder to take off. I'm just kind of nuding out my lips with a concealer, but I think I covered them pretty good. So I'm gonna line my lips first with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Razor. I have a few of their Lippy Pencils, but this one's one of my favorites. Whenever I wear gloss, I always have to line just a little bit or else it looks like I have no lips. So this is the Ultra Glossy Lip in Hack, and I thought I was gonna love this, so we'll see. Ooh, I do love, so pretty. All right, so I really love this one. This is a really like glossy, girly color and I feel like it's nice for every day. It has like nude and also pink sparkles in it. It's just really pretty. I love glosses and I wear them all the time. It's like kind of my first choice when it comes to a lip product. So I love this. I just think it's so nice. This would look good with a smoky eye look or with something that's more nude, everyday look it would look nice with. Kind of a nice range of colors. You have like a vampy lip, you have an everyday lip and then you have like Something that's a little bit more than every day, like your lips, but better. I like the choices that she made with these colors. They're just really nice. I really, really like them. Quick review on the Weekend Warrior palette by ColourPop and Amanda Steele. I overall really like this palette. When I first saw it, I wasn't really sure about it because I don't normally wear colors like this. They're very cool toned. They're very kind of like out of my element. I normally go for more like warm tones or I go for something really colorful. So this at first, I really wasn't sure about it, but I've also never tried the ColourPop Pressed Shadows. This is my first time, and I really like the formula of them. I think they're very nice. They blend so good. These colors are very unique, and I actually ended up really liking this look. I do wear smoky eyes all the time, but I never wear like a blue smoky eye like this. If you have colored eyes, I feel like this would look stunning on you. I would love to try more of the ColourPop Pressed Shadows because I was actually really impressed with them, and I overall did really like this palette, so I really like it. I think it's really different, and if you like trying new things, if you're like me and you like usually wear warm tones, you should try this because it's kind of, it's a different feel. It gives you kind of like a different look. It's more like a smoky, sultry look, which I really like. And I like that it's not just like a black smoky eye. I overall really like this palette. I just wanted to do something that was kind of like really easy to do, something that anyone could do. And you could really smoke this out on your eyes. I really like the way this look came out and I feel like anybody could recreate it. You can't really mess up with this. You could do a couple different looks with it but this isn't an overwhelming amount of shadows where you just don't know what to do, which I think is really nice for someone who doesn't really experiment a lot with their eye makeup. This is something that you could really practice with and kind of try different things without getting overwhelmed. I love ColourPop. I've, I've always really loved them. They were actually one of the first brands 
that I bought makeup from to use for my channel. So I remember when I first started about a year and a half ago, I bought the entire range of the Ultra Matte Lips. And at the time, I think there was maybe like 15 colors. I bought all of them and I did a video and most of you guys have found my channel from that video, which I think is kind of cool. So just a little tidbit about ColourPop that I wanted to share with you guys. But overall, I think this is an awesome palette. I love the eyeshadow palette and I also love the lip products. So I would recommend both. I'm really big on lipsticks, so I know I'm gonna wear the heck out of these lipsticks. I really like them. Color range is very different, it's very unique. And if you get all three, you have something for every different type of occasion, which I think is pretty cool. Thank you so much ColourPop for sending it to me, and I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like it, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to turn on the notifications, hit the bell button so you guys don't miss any videos from me, and share this video with any friends that would like to see the look I created using the Amanda Steele and ColourPop collab. Thank you all for watching today and I will see you all in my next tutorial.